car shuts off when AC is turned on. 7 Crazy Reasons As you know, AC is a huge energy sucker. It consumes a lot of energy when it is turned on so, if the engine can't produce more energy, then it will jerk hesitate and finally will shut off. It means that the load on the engine is high and the power produced by the engine is low. Here, I am breaking down the topic into simple words. It is a fascinating topic, just stick with me. The engine compensates for the lack of power through an idle air control valve mechanism to increase its power and speed. The car manufacturer introduces the valve idle air control valve in a manually operated throttle body to compensate for power. But, the important question is what the meaning of idle is. Here is the definition of the term idle. When the engine is running and the car is not moving, we call it the engine in idle mode. Normally the car's idle RPM is from 600 to 1000 RPM depending upon the car and outside temperature. At this RPM, the engine produces enough amount of power to stand smoothly without stalling. Whenever a load is put on the engine such as turning on the lights or turning on the AC, it sucks a lot of power and the engine cannot produce more power at the same RPM. It must increase its RPM to generate more power and stand smoothly. According to the research, the air conditioner causes about a 30-40% to 40 average decrease in driving range in hybrid electric vehicles. Now come to the idle air control valve, IAC. This valve increases and decreases the air-fuel ratio to regulate engine idle RPM. When the AC is turned on, the valve opens to flow more air into the engine, increases its idle RPM, and also produces more power and vice versa. So, when carbon builds on the idle air control valve, IAC, it will fail to maintain proper idle, and as a result, the car surges and shuts off when the load is put. Now let's discuss. 7 Crazy Reasons Car Stalls When AC Is On 1. Faulty Idle Air Control Valve 2. Bad Electronic Controlled Throttle Body 3. Seized Compressor 4. Stuck Compressor Pulley 5. Worn Belt 6. Overfilled with AC Refrigerant 7. An Electrical Problem 1. Faulty Idle Air Control Valve this is the most common reason the engine dies when AC is turned on. The idle air control valve increases and decreases the engine RPM not to shut off the engine when a load is put on the car. With time the carbon builds up on the idle control valve, through which it cannot perform well. As a result, the engine RPM fluctuates up and down and finally, shuts off. So, clean the idle air control valve with a soft cleaning cloth dipped in a solvent. Two. Bad Electronic Controlled Throttle Body The electronically controlled throttle body is also a common reason the engine dies when the AC is turned on. Modern vehicles do not have an idle air control valve, they have an electronic controlled throttle body, also called drive by wire. It takes a signal from ECM. The same phenomenon can happen with electronic throttle control body. If carbon builds on it, it will restrict the passageway for more air to enter and as a result, the car stumbles. So, do a regular tune-up to clean your car's electronic throttle control body. 3. Seized Compressor The compressor is an expensive reason for a car to shut off the engine when AC is turned on. The seized AC compressor causes the car to stall. The compressor squeezes the refrigerant under high pressure and uses the power of almost 5 to 10 horsepower. It is enough amount of energy to drop down the RPM. Sometimes, your compressor may be seized due to a jammed bearing, which takes too much effort to rotate against the belt, causing surges, and finally, the car shuts off. You have no option other than to replace the compressor. 4. Stuck Compressor Pulley Often a compressor is in good condition, but its pulley bearing is stuck. This stuck pulley bearing drags against the belt and becomes very stiff to rotate the compressor. And put too much strain on the engine, which leads to the car jerking and stalling. 5. A worn belt. The drive belt rotates the compressor. When a compressor is turned on, the engine RPM decreases. A worn drive belt with an on compressor will slip, causing RPM fluctuation. 
This increase and decrease in RPM are known as car surges or hesitations, which lead to shutting off the car. 6. Overfilled with AC refrigerant. This is another reason for the car dying when AC is turned on. The refrigerant in the AC system should be neither high nor low in amount. It must be in the correct quantity. AC system with overfilled refrigerant causes overpressure on the engine and forces the car to stumble when AC is turned on. 7. An electrical problem. An electrical problem is the most common reason a car shuts off when AC is turned on. Often the vehicle surges due to electrical issues. Make sure you don't have a loose fuse or corroded relay in the box. Thanks for watching. And subscribe to Easy Car Electrics for more details.